Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of Kitten's Corner. This is a pretty cool edition. We're just going to work on one of the kits, of course. And we are going to talk about some of the other kits that are going on. So that you kind of catch up in my world. I do have the kit bathed already. I got her hanging out on the, on the drying rack to get all the excess moisture off of her. Because she is going to get reborn and I'm probably more excited than she is about it. Okay, first I wanted to catch y'all up on what's going on. Um, first of all, uh, we will not be playing any music with any um, songs or what have you because YouTube considers that a copyright for me to have it even playing in the background. So we got some quiet music because I need something going in the background for it's relaxing for me. So first of all, let me show you the kit that I started on last week. She is technically not even together yet, but this is the Felicity kit, my version of her. She has absolutely no hair, but we're working on that. Remember, this is the year of rooting, so... I don't want to rush with her rooting, but her kit came out amazing. I'm amazing. Um, Felicity is the name they gave her. I'm thinking of another name for her just simply because she doesn't look like a Felicity to me. I have two kits, and these are what I call my eBay kits. So that means they came from eBay, so they are not, they're from overseas. They are not from any particular company. I love working with these kits because they're discounted sort of for me so I can give you a discounted price. Now, what makes them a reborn is I get this. And this is the sleeping one that I got. It, it was presented as a boy and I think I'm going to keep him as a boy because he's absolutely gorgeous. This little tucked in under the lip is what caught my attention and I just hope I can do the kit justice that the picture that I saw and when I say what makes it a reboard and what justifies me even charging a kind of higher price than what you would do overseas is because I'm going to put in a reborn work on him I'm not going you're not getting a uh, high um highlighted cheeks, nails, and that's it. A little bit of color on top of that color. You're getting layers of reborn gen heat. I'm sorry. You're getting layers of heat set paint. You're getting the time that I take to root its hair. I'm doing this personally. And you're getting my love and attention and um, my work and my time. So that's what makes it a little more expensive than if you had purchased it directly from overseas. You're getting a reborner's touch on the doll. So just think about that when you kind of question the prices or what have you. But at the same time, I wouldn't charge you five or $600 for him because I got the whole kit. I have eyes, everything. Well, for this young lady, I'm going to take her out the plastic so you can see her a little better. This is the second kit that I got from overseas we're gonna say and I really should have had her picture pulled up but um and look at that face yeah look at that little face again I get a discount because she did not come with just the kit I have her eyes I have her body and I happen to like her eye color it's a, just a regular natural brown and what I'm going to attempt to do to the kit is makes that color actually perfect for me. So that works for me. Um, I'm going to show you some pictures of the one I have online because this kit is absolutely adorable to me. So <laughs> I'm going to go on ahead and show you what I've been goofing off today and kind of got the little dolls dressed and everything. And if I can find it, we're going to my eBay page, guys. So not my eBay page. I feel we're going to my Facebook page, um, Kitten's Corner. So 
I introduce you to my Facebook page officially. Da 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 da. If the camera I'll let it adjust, Kitten Corner, which is you know same name as this thing. So if you want to go to Kitten's Facebook, you'll see some of my work there. And just was goofing off today, like I said. And this is, I'm sure you remember her, little Juliana, in her summer clothes. Because the little thing, whatever, decided we're going to have six months of winter. I dressed them thinking that we weren't. This is the doll that I purchased. I'm going to do a video with him, kind of, to introduce him. I named him Jacob. So, got him in summer clothes as well. So, I got some things going on I really haven't really touched on. Kind of been living my life outside of the camera. Um, I took a took an impromptu vacation, and because of the weather, it's going to be a staycation because it is absolutely freezing out there. Freezing. So instead of trying to plan outdoor activities, we're going to work on the kids, kind of just hang out, get some sleep, recover. I caught a little winter cold, I guess I want to call it, because it went. Uh, I live in South Georgia. It went. 70 degrees, 40 degrees, 65 degrees, 32 degrees, and so on and so forth. So you don't know how to dress. I'm again in summer wear, and it is 39 degrees outside. So I went to walk my pup and froze. I'm in shorts. Like I said, I kind of got the kids dressed for summer too, but I didn't really intend on having a summer day. But I didn't intend on freezing when I went out there either. So now back to painting a fair skin reborn. Just some reminders. You have to make sure your kid is washed, washed off completely. I have been referred to Dawn Soap, um, which works out really well. It removes all oils and chemicals and whatever they use to create the kit. And that's very important because you're using an oil-based paint. And, of course, they'll mix and blend and pick it, it'll pick it up really well. So you want to make sure you avoid that by making sure that you actually wash it off very well. The thing to know about this kit is this is just my personal opinion. And I'm going to go ahead and start actually painting on her. And I can tell you it's a her. I can't change it to a he if I wanted to because, again, she, she has all her natural parts. That's the way I'm going to put it. I'm going to turn the camera this way because she has all her natural parts. And we don't want you who to, you to, rather, to jump us for showing all her natural parts. So when I get to that piece, I'm going to probably hold it a little under the cam as much as I can. Again, as with any reborn kit, the first thing you want to do is give it a couple of layers of the skin tone that you want. And this serves two purposes. Is one, it sets the tone for your doll. You want what you want to see, it sets that tone. And it also, because what I found out the hard way is that this um, skin tone paint actually dries shading like lighter like it gets lighter than what it is which is why i will tell you and other artists have came to the conclusion you don't want to put like a heavy layer 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 of this skin tone because it will definitely dry with shades of a chalky kind of white now unless you're trying to attempt to get a chalky white baby then you know if you that, that's your goal then carry on and go ahead and keep layering as much as you can with the with the the skin tone the first the higher level the higher levels the eight the seven the six those primarily you would get a chalky color the more layers you put and unfortunately you'll get those that chalky look as well in the creases and the crevices if you don't take the time to paint on and pull back off again. So you have to make sure you're on your uh, pull off game and the dry off game and to paint on, paint off. If you don't, again, your color will 
it'll tell on you because once you heat set it, you'll start seeing chalky, distinct lines. Um, the downside for this kit is my granddaughter and I put this kit together. We actually assembled her because I was kind of curious as to what size of clothes I need to get it. Will it look like a preemie or will it look like basically a doll? A very pretty painted doll, but will it look like a doll? Can I make this baby doll look like a human, a, a mini human? So what I discovered, unfortunately, to, to, to me is that this kit, when assembled, looked like one of the dolls you would pay maybe 10 or $15 for from the store. Like, so what is going to make her worth her price? Because she was kind of expensive. Um, not really expensive, but she was up there. So what is going to make her more realistic? What's going to make her worth someone not looking at my page and going, well, I could pay $10 and get something just like that. And that is going to be me. That's going to be what I do to her. Because, again, just like with the overseas kits, it's up to me to give her some kind of personality, some kind of flair that makes her worth buying. So that totally depends on me, and that totally depends on what I do with her. Am I going to give her freckles? Am I going to give her a distinct shading of um, molting or what have you? So my multi game, my veining game, all of that has got to be on point because those are things, are features that you don't find on those dolls in the store. And that is what's going to make her worth whatever price that I put on her. But she's going to have to, to be worth me doing. She's going to have to sell for, you know, at least over $100 for me to be, for it to have even been worth my time keeping that in mind, then I need to make her worth over a hundred dollars. What's exciting about her though, on the upside is that because she is a full body kit, I can pose her in so many crazy ways and so many different ways. I can pose her practically without clothes and be very effective in that. And that's what the the potential mommy is going to see and they're going to see it laying like if they have a crib or what have you to see her laying that's her with her first coat of paint and I'm actually I have her kind of set on my drying rack a certain way so I'm just grabbing her how I have her set um there's no rhyme or reason into it she's just this is just kind of how I dried her <laughs> so I'm just grabbing the parts in that order and doing it in a certain order. Now I do keep her whatever order I start her painting in. That's the order that she'll be painted in from now on so that I am not um, mixing up the colors or missing limbs when I'm painting. And every limb is going to get back to the instructional part. Every limb is going to get a full coat of this Caucasian paint and all the fair skin paint. This is skin tone seven. So it's not the lightest skin tone, but it is next to it. So when you using this skin tone again, you have to make sure you paint on and paint off. And you can see her, if you look at it really, really closely, you can't really tell on this, this early in the game, shall we say, that she's getting a touch a touch lighter than the than her than the connector parts but not not exactly really she's just basically shiny so which is good because you know the paint is on there as she dries though you'll start seeing differences or I'll start seeing differences rather from the ring to her skin tone and that's when most painters start or reborners start marking the doll so that they can tell where they are on the doll because it's really hard otherwise like you it all looks the same because she does have a lighter complexion 
so again, what's going to make her worth the, like I said, the extra money con- considering does it look like a doll I just like bought for $5 and now I'm trying to sell for a certain amount, which I know that's not the case. Okay, so I have already spent a touch over her kit was 40 something. I wouldn't even say it was 50 something. And her the eyes that I had to purchase for her were uh 14 because I got the glass eyes. Because to me they're more realistic. She has very tiny eye sockets as you probably saw. So she doesn't take a very large eye, which is kind of cool. She's going to be a very tiny kit and that's what's going to be my sale it's going to be like welcome baby kind of thing and every clothes all her clothes are going to barely fit her to be honest she's probably maybe a inch or two bigger than the the little fairy dolls that I did so that being said if she's only an inch or two bigger than them She's not, I mean, if I had them to compare, she would, her feet would be two times their size. So she's not tiny. Like, don't get me wrong in thinking I'm saying she's tiny because she's not. But she's definitely, she's smaller than the Felicity kit by an inch. And she's like, her, her parts are smaller than the Felicity kit as lengthwise and her she's more condensed especially now that the Felicity kit has a a body so I'm doing the the no no one so I'm going to just keep it below cam so you have to just bear with my pretty pretty face for a while while I get this one painted and like I said what's gonna be her sale is what I do into the details like do I make her worth that little extra money and um, the do you see distinguishing marks i'm thinking of where to put even a birthmark on her to kind of really just make her pop and you should look at her and have to do a double take to realize that it's not a baby it's a doll because she is going to that's it's just going to have to be like that and if i can't pull it off then i have a very pretty doll <laughs> but hopefully we'll get her looking so good that her potential mommy will be like oh my god that's it that's the one and maybe she'll someone who had their baby a little early would be like she looks just like her now the thing that kind of um is another concern is i did get an open eyed instead of a closed eye and most times preemies their eyes are closed um i kind of did some digging to find a picture to kind of follow for a baby her size. And everybody eyes was closed. Like, or they were barely open, like that sleepy, I am not gonna really open my eyes, but I'm gonna peek up at you look. So we kind of don't have a baby with, like her eyes aren't wide open, but they're not exactly closed either. So we're going to have to do this on our own as far as her facial expression. Her facial expression is sweet, but again, I've yet to see a reborn, I mean, not a reborn, a real baby, you know, again, a preemie hurt that would have been her size with its eyes open and that kind of awake. Um, now, I did see the kits that were done with her. So I did, when I do my research, I look at several factors on when I even, to even purchase a kit. How do they look? Um how does the kit look how does the kit look finished and thank goodness you know there there's always somebody's gonna have already done and somebody's gonna already have posted a picture how does the kit look finished how does the kit look at, in different races interestingly enough um unless i post this felicity one i haven't seen her in african-american so I might be the first one to have done her an African American, and I believe she did really well. And so, but in this kit, I have seen her. I haven't seen her an African American either. But these kits are fairly new, and sometimes that just doesn't happen. Um, I finally, even kind of jumping subjects, saw Emmy in an African American. So sometimes they just don't 
um, African American people who paint African American babies. Let me just put it like that. Look at the kit and says that does not look like a <laughs> that does not look like it to be pulled off as an African American. But I'm here to tell ya, the Felicity kit looks really great as an African American little baby. So I might um shoot um bountiful baby a picture of her done because I haven't done a review on it yet. So I might shoot her shoot them a picture. You know, because I really think she she looks good as an African American baby. I mean um, not that that makes a difference, but it does give me a guideline, like, of how I want to do the kits. So I have, haven't seen this one as African-American, so, and considering I have my own doubts, it would be kind of crazy for me to paint her as an African-American when I haven't even seen her really done as a, a fair-skinned baby I haven't seen her done, even in Hispanic or what have you, because everybody has their own vision. Of course, I will never see her as a boy because she has girl parts. So everybody has their own vision. So this is going to be my vision of this baby. And hopefully she's going to turn out great, as the little tiger says. And hopefully we will get some really good results, really good, um, like, this is truly going to be my imagination. This is going to be me seeing, am I seeing, did she scratch herself? Did she, does she, is she tiny enough not to have scratched herself? Is it tiny enough that maybe her nails haven't actually thickened up enough for you to even see the white thing? That was the fight I had with Felicity as well, was how thick were her nails, um, Thankfully, of course, if you don't know, I'm a grandmother, so I do have a little one who was Felicity age probably about a, maybe a month ago. So, and I was trying to remember on her, did she have nails? So I looked at a couple of pictures and she did. So Felicity ended up with with the little half moons on hers. Um, but I'm trying to recall. And then my daughter said, well, she scratched herself. So she has a little scar light right there. And I'm like, Man, I could have captured that, but you know, it didn't happen. So we know that they had not only did she have nails, but she had nails strong enough to actually hurt her, like break her own skin. And um that's kind of cool. So maybe I can pull this off, pull that kind of effect in this baby. We're doing round two. This round we just do I do a little bit slower paint job and the reason that is because I want to make sure 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 that I have every single part of this baby painted in the skin tone why now we're getting into the educational part and I'm really getting into it not going to change subjects we make sure that we paint every single part of this baby with the skin tone for the same reason we paint every single baby the same way because the next few layers are going to be what I call staining layers. What does that mean? That means the next few layers of paints will stain your baby, meaning that it will always be there. If you paint with the blue first, especially the blue, and you go, oh, no, this is not going to work, and you try to take the paint off the baby, take the paint off the kit, painted it all and you go no nah, I don't like it I'm going to start over you are in trouble because wherever you put the blue is going to be there forever and ever it'll fade but it will not come off so if you paint her with the or any of your kits with the bluing with the blue layer before you do this protective skin layer you are basically committing to that color forever and ever. And even when you dab off, because unfortunately I had the unfortunate incidence of actually doing that. Even when you dab off, there's hints of blue still there. So even if you catch the error right then and there, it's a permanent error. Whereas I found that if you do the paints first and you do a little dab off, the skin tone fades a little bit, but you could get all of the blue off without it actually being like so bad on the baby. 
Now, if you do the blue first, you're kind of screwed. If you do the red first, what happens is the red actually tints the doll to me. So you can kind of play it off and be like, well, she's just a little redder than, you know, most babies. Maybe she's fresh from the womb, so she's still got that hard red on her. So she's still got that just straight blood. Her skin, her skin complexity hasn't fought through yet or what have you. Now, when working with the fair skin babies, you also have to realize that this is what they're what what they refer to as a very thin baby, thin skin, and not thin skin as she's overly sensitive, guys. Ha 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 ha. But thin skin as in everything underneath her skin should actually be popping off to you because her skin is really thin. Just sounds redundant, but it's really that's the point you're trying to make. Her skin is super thin. Everything in there is showing veins. This kid should be veiny. She should be multi. She should have some purplish spots. She should have, she should be almost, not to be funny, but she should be kind of like a little rainbow because she's going to have a whole lot of different distinctive, distinctive colorations in her skin. And if you do it right, if you do it right, the illusion you're trying to affect with her, the illusion you're trying to create with her, I should say, will will show. And that's gonna take a lot of not a lot of time and team patience on your thing because, like I said, you're gonna have to give this your 100 percent all. So because she is so tiny and she is to me, um, like I said, when I put her together, she looked like a really uh, not a bad looking like I, I I would say I would be willing to go into the store if she had like a couple of outfits and pay about twenty dollars for her and I would get her and let help my older granddaughter change her clothes blase blase you know great great starter motherhood doll for not motherhood but you know how to take care of someone smaller than you sized doll like she's perfect for my four year old but now that we're going to put paint on her and we're going to humanize her, I'm going to also, before I sell her, see my granddaughter's reaction because she has seen her with no paint, just straight, straight baby. And her concern, which was amusing to me, was that she didn't have eyes yet. <laughs> so she was like, she needs her eyes. She needs her eyes. But... I tried a pair of eyes on her prior to my granddaughter coming, and I caught the devil getting them out. So I absolutely refused to put eyes in this kit. So I'm curious to see how she's going to react when she's done and her eyes are in and she's looking 100%, you know, and see how my daughter is she's going to be more relaxed about it. Because she was really concerned. She was like, why didn't she have eyes? But in her, she was like, she needs a diaper and she needs eyes. And because, you know, and I was like, check, check. You know, she's like, really, the things that concerned her was that she wasn't dressed. Because, like, she's a full-born baby. She had no clothes on or what have you. So we got her dressed and we got her, put her um, a diaper on and we got her put together. And that was kind of fun to see my granddaughter at four, like, pay that much attention to detail. But I'm going to see how her reaction would be when she's actually painted and there's molting and veins and eyes <laughs> and see if she's like as loving as Carrie. Is she even more so that she because she put her down kind of shortly after she picked her up. Like, OK, she's together. OK, that was nice. Let's keep keep it pushing. Found something else to do. So it would be kind of curious to see if she was more lifelike. And had more coloration and more expressiveness on top of having eyes. If she'll be something that the little one will walk around with. Because she does walk around with the other kids. And she do spend time with the, the one she can hold. Because she's still little herself. So there's some that I don't allow her to kind of spend time with. But there are some that I do. And we are going to 
Ooh, we're not gonna put this down. No, we're not. No, we are not. We are not. We are not. I saw a gathering of paint, so we're gonna put this one back up. <clears throat> but what we're gonna do though is we're gonna put this down, and I am going to chit chat a little while, just a minute or two, and then I'm going to wrap this up so I can actually get down with this last layer of paint that I am gonna put on her. Um, my goal is to sometime this week get the first one rooted and I'm going to try to do that on cam because I do want to do some instructional videos on rooting without the goof off that I did. The first time I did instructional videos on rooting, just straight up trying to help you out as far as learning. I know that the painting one that I'm really like kind of pretty much a review but and at the same time i'm giving you some a different perspective because this is a fairer skin baby uh my channel that's kind of what i wanted my channel to be of course i want it to be entertaining of course i want you to enjoy it and learn something and probably get possibly get interested and get a kit from me that'll be all great but at the end of the day if i'm not helping you out and you're not learning anything then I'm wasting your time and mine. So have have a great rest of your day. I might come back and do some rooting today, but more likely than not, I'm going to consider this another kind of off day. I did get the um, first layer of paint on, so I'm, I achieved something today and hopefully get back in the move of things and we'll get the blue layer on tomorrow. Promise you, promise you, promise you. But we will get that done. I will do it again live. I will be back live probably around this time because it seems to be a pretty good time. And we will hang out and chit chat and get a little bit further on this doll. And if I have a little time at the end, maybe I will start the rooting process or at least let you know my goals as far as getting it mapping. Maybe we'll map tomorrow as well. That will be a good start um, and explain why that's important. So, in the meantime, in between time, guys, y'all have a great rest of your evening, and be blessed, well, and happy, and if you have not, if this is a new video for you or a new visitation to this channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because that's the way that you can find the videos you need quicker and it lets me know that I'm not just doing this in vain. Okay. Have a great evening. Peace.